Granddad Rex provided us with this place he called Grand, a place so special to me that it's where you chose to propose. Bill, I think Jen and I have a pretty good bond. She's not my sister, but she's more than just my cousin. One of the things that I think unites us is our love and the impact our granddad had on our lives. Jenna recently shared with me how the last words she spoke with Granddad Rex the day he died were that she wasn't going to get married and she couldn't find a guy as good as her dad and granddad. Dude, those two men I hold in pretty high esteem, so I can't think of a better description of you than that. Jenna, he loves you, he loves your family. I could tell from the moment he met you that it was over. <laughs> Bill Burcham, several years ago, I wrote down a very intentional prayer that God would close my eyes to all other guys and open my eyes to the man he intended to be my husband. I know that a lot of people thought I was too picky or too hardened for a lot of years, but I had prayed such a specific prayer that I had written down and that I meant it wholeheartedly. I asked God to close my eyes to all other guys except the one I was supposed to marry and to open them only when the time was right. And God did just that. A few hours before my granddad passed away, I sat with him and told him that I wasn't ever going to get married until I found a guy as good as him and my daddy. And I knew at that moment that I might not ever get married. But God opened my eyes and he revealed to me a guy with the same qualities that I respected so much in my dad and granddad. Thank you for being the most amazing man and loving me in a way I couldn't even imagine. Ah! You're beautiful. So if I could pass something on to you guys, I think in a marriage, you have to have a great foundation before you get started. Watching the two of you, I can tell you've had a great foundation. I don't know if I've ever been more sure of a couple getting married that their foundation wasn't laid on Jesus Christ. Today, we've gathered here in the presence of God with all your family and friends present to take the next step in your life. <laughs> mom, you're the very best version of a mom there could ever be. Growing up, I always had the ultimate role model. I can remember getting up in the morning and seeing you kneeled in front of the brown chair pray. I am so honored that I get to share this day with you. I love you so much. Love, Jenna Bell. Anybody who knows Jenna knows she will do anything for the people she loves, and I'm happy she's found Bill to share that with and to see him be there for her in return. From the moment I met Bill, it was obvious he would be someone who would bring energy and fun into Jenna's life, just like she has always done for others. Jenna, you have been the most patient person I have ever known in finding her husband. You knew what you wanted, prayed for it, waited patiently for it, and now here you are on your wedding day with your best friend, the person who will be there for you no matter what. This could happen Oh, the grace would be enough This is more than imagined This is 
One of the things I admire most about you, Bill, is how there is a humbleness about you and a genuine selflessness. You are the best um, Uncle B to my kids. And you were already a brother to me, and I couldn't be happier to officially have you in the family. You've come before God and all these witnesses to express your desire to be husband and wife by the clasping of hands, by the reciting of vows, by the exchanging of rings. You've shown your love and devotion for each other. I therefore pronounce that you are husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no person separate. Bill, you may kiss your bride.